Hey, this is Wednesday, February 22nd. It's me. Uh, Mr. Wagley is home with a slight case of death. Uh, but we're hoping he's going to come back and join us, so I'm recording because I get to be here. Uh, let's see, blah, 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 first ever glow party coming up uh, this Friday. Buy your tickets, come join DJ Brogy Beats, or, uh, what was the other one I said? Broccoli. MC, MC Lil, I'm going to add MC, MC Lil Broccoli, uh, my other name I go by. The book report is due two weeks from today, which is March 8th, which gives you a bit more time for those of you who have been slacking. They're going to create a bell work called I Have News, and we're going to see if my thing works. Work! <laughs> work. 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 Threaten it. Button oh, Hang on. Don't you get up yet? Almost. We're going to. Going to. Uh, you were doing just fine, and now you're just like a sassy little sheep. Just like All right. Button. Now we'll go back. <laughs> Every time you get close to it, I'm hit the button. Hit the button. You stand up. It's like, oh, she's coming. <laughs> Anyway, so here's our five things. We're going to see if you agree or disagree with each one. It says, I, be, I can easily recognize fake news when I see it. I have told a story that wasn't completely true because I wanted the attention that came with it. Three, an article stating that Kyrie Irving declares he believes the world is flat would definitely be fake news. Four, I have been tricked by a link on a website slash YouTube that got me to click it and then it wasn't what I expected. And five, I understand and grasp how websites make money. I'm not going to talk about all of these, but we're going to at least get started. The first one. How many of you guys agree? I can easily recognize fake news when I see it. How many of you disagree? I find it kind of tricky, and I get caught all the time. All right. Two. I have told a story that wasn't completely true because I wanted the attention that came with it. Agree? Disagree? All right. How very honest of some of you. And how very honest for some of you about being dishonest. Three, an article saying that Kyrie Irving declares he believes the world is flat would definitely be fake news. Agree? No. Disagree? Why? How do you know? Four. It's because he can say it. It's just not, it's not true. True. But it's, it's true that he said it. It's, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah well, my question is, if you saw that, would you agree that that would definitely be fake news? No. Well, Sarsha, yeah. no. Fourth, I have been tricked by a link on a website that got me to click it and it wasn't what I expected. Agree? <laughs> Disagree? <laughs> and five, I understand and grasp how websites make money. Agree? Disagree? You think it's pretty simple, but we'll see. Um, the easily recognizing fake news. For those of you who say you can spot fake news, how do you spot fake news? What is it you look for that makes you all smiggity smart? Web? I look for like pop like celebrities and I also look for exaggerated words. Wait. So celebrities make it true or not true? No, celebrities usually are used in fake news to grab more people's attention. Ooh, all right, that looks out. I thought you like if a celebrity says it, it must be true. I was like, uh Suskovich. Stupid people think stupid things like that scheme where, like, they said their son was up in a balloon, and then he went on news and said that really didn't happen. So you look at how much it makes sense? Yeah. The, the stupid people factor? Hey. Hey. Olivia? Okay, so I put disagree on here, but now I'm agreeing because this is going to sound really stupid. Okay. But um, I think it's Shane Dawson made a video where it was the same crisis actor and four different newscasts, and they look like, like their noses were different, but... It looked like they were prosthetics, and I just wanted to bring it up. So things look more like that? Cross right. Yeah, crisis actors. Other Maddox? I also disagree, but now I agree. <laughs> <laughs> it's some, sometimes stuff can be far-fetched with it. All right. Maddox. Not Maddox, sorry. Mitchell? Compared, compared to what you know. So if you know the world is flat, you feel that it's not true. But part of it is not whether you believe the world is flat, but on that one is do you believe that there's an article that says this NBA star declares the world is flat? So not do you believe the world is flat? And the problem with that one is that's actually a true thing. That an NBA star came out this past weekend and declared the world is flat. Seriously? Oh, no, yeah. I thought it was... His brain must have been knocked out of Bring it down. I, that reason I put it on there is because I thought it was fake news. It turns out it's not. No. He came out last week in a podcast that he was doing 
and declared the world was flat. So they followed up with a second interview in more websites you can go to at the All-Star Game. Like, hey, you said the world was flat. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> and so it turned out that it was not fake. It was a real thing that he said. And so that's why I put it on there is that sometimes it looks like it's fake and it's not. Just like sometimes it looks like it's real and it's not. It's not always easy to pick them out. Schaefer? Um, for, wait, for number one, uh -huh. the uh, game. Okay, so you can look beside the quackery. Yes, and what is quackery? Kids who paid attention in their PE well, class? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the thing, like, so, signs of quackery, you know, like, Yeah. Okay, so it's or one. the definition of quackery. I forget the definition. Way to go on that one then. Okay. That's advertisement. Yeah, pretty much. Nicely done. Yeah. And then, uh, like some signs that like when they're like, it's a miracle for us. Miracle death. Yeah. Some things that if a... Fake doctors. Fake doctors. Fake doctors. Health yes. advisors. What do they do? And part of that problem goes to number two and number five, which connect together. Do you guys know how websites make money? Yeah. 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 They, uh, and part of the thing is, because like, by going to the website and clicking on the page, well, MrBropiac.com is a website. Do I make money when you click on it? Absolutely. Oh, Unless no. you hide ads that are like a pixel or... So I'd have to have <laughs> ads on there to make money. And that's where the thing comes in. In order to make money with a website, you have to get people to come and click on it. You don't always have to have them click on the ads. If you go to a page that has ads on it, they get paid just for you seeing those. Mm -hmm. They get paid even more money if you actually click on the ad. And so that's why they try to get you to go to that website and then to go to click on it. And the problem is, you have legitimate websites like IndyStar.com, which is for the Indianapolis Star, the, web, the, the newspaper we have here. They're a newspaper. Newspapers are losing money. Newspapers are having problems. They need to make money. So they have to get you to come to their website, and so they have to have headlines that are going to get your attention. Even though they're real stories, they sometimes get a bit exaggerated with what they are to get you to come to their website. And so that's what we have to take a look at. So what we're going to do is pray that this button works. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Callie, stand up and stare at it. Right now. Come on, actually. Come on. Actually, actually, you're not scary enough. All right, apparently you can actually hit the button. Or you can just move around also. <laughs> There you go. Woo! We're going to go to this website, MrBroviac.com. <laughs> While you're downloading, um, a couple questions for you. We're going to see if you can multitask and think and hit buttons at the same time. With my website, MrBroviac.com, uh, do you guys know what that .com stands for? It's an dot indicator com or something. Commercial. Dot commercial. Dot commercial. Is correct. Oh my AD. By meaning it's dot commercial, that means this is a website. You guys know what commercial means? Yes. yes. It's a thing on TV. Correct. But that's not what the commercial the word means. That's just what a commercial is. And a commercial. Do you guys know what commerce is? Yes. What's no. commerce? Buying and selling of stuff. So if a website has dot com, it means they can make money. Whereas, let's say you go to indianauniversity.edu. What does EDU stand for? Well done. I mean, what if we have um, dot org? If we have it's an organization. Which means, you, it means it has to be non-profit and cannot make money. So dot org means they cannot have ads, they cannot sell you stuff because it is an organization. What about dot mil? You have Navy.mil, Marines.mil, Military. The problem we had is they started coming up with these names back in the 1990s. We're running out of names for people to use. And so they had to start reusing some of the names, which means .com is not the only one you can find. There's also some where it is just a straight up, we only made this website to sell you stuff. And that is .biz. You guys know what dot .biz is? Business. Business. And there's one other way. If it's a dot .biz, that means it only exists to sell you stuff. And that is it. Usually it's some kind of marketing thing of one form or another. There's also dot .co. So you can have MrBroviac.com and MrBroviac.co. Usually it means company, but not always. It can also mean just... The same thing along .com to try and find another way to make money. So paying attention to what that end thing is can make a difference also. So if you go to humanesociety.org, probably pretty safe. 
If you go to humanesociety.com, probably going to be a fake website set up to try and get you to make money or get money from you in some way. Vera? Do you make money from the website? No, I, I've actually considered it. Because part of the idea with it is it costs money to run, my, to run that website. Because mine is different than Mrs. Randall's. What is in Mrs. Randall's website that makes hers free? The free Weebly trial. Yeah, done. By putting Weebly in the address, they pay your fees for you to put the Weebly there. I didn't want Weebly in my address. I thought it just didn't look good. So I pay extra money to take that Weebly out, but it costs me money. I could make that money back by putting ads on my website quite easily. Every time I log in to update your homework, it comes up with an ad to put ads on there. And it says, are you spending money on this website? Would you like us to pay you? Click this button and we'll put ads on your website and you get free pennies. And so I could do that, but I don't because I don't think you guys want to sit there and click through ads every time that you went to my website. Plus, the drawback is you have to have thousands of hits to make money. I get tens of hits. So... And like a whole year, I would bank like 75 cents. But like, woo, it's not really <laughs> I figured to have you guys sit through ads, I'm not going to make the money back. Same thing with my YouTube. You guys have gone to YouTube and you have those 15-second ads, those 30-second ads. If you watch the longer the ad, the more money that person makes for you going and watching it. I could put ads at the front of all my YouTube things. If you missed today's class and we're recording it, I could put an ad at the front and I would get money for it. But at the same time, it doesn't feel like the right thing them. to do. Yes, it does. So, you can't, you you can't, can't skip YouTube. Skip on ads. Ads. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Well, I'm saying that you can't decide to skip on ads. If you're, if you, if, it, if it's your YouTube channel and you're uploading videos and you put ads on it, you can't decide to put a skip on it. That is also true. Uh, Real news reports on fake news as people try to figure out the difference. Um, I'm actually going to skip down. We've kind of talked about all of this a wee bit, so jump down, jump down, till we get to the part where it says. A tweet is making weird. No, pass that one. Determine whether the article is from a trustworthy website. Where is that? It's like the second page, halfway down. Yeah. Oh, I found so it. Yeah. Because I have a faith that you guys know so that fake news exists, was that little intro part that we've kind of talked about. What I want to do is they have a couple things on there about how to figure out whether it's going to be a real website or not. One, you guys have seen ABC television network ABC. you go to. They have a website called... And it says on there, abcnews.go.com is the official website. But there is a fake news website called abcnews.com.co, not owned by ABC, that is built just to sell you stuff and to look like the real website. You could easily, if you wanted to try and make yourself a fat bank of pennies, come up with a mrbroviac.co and then hope that every time someone types in my address wrong, they'll go to your website. And you can get tons of pennies also. You can make like a 9 or 15 cents a year. And so that'd be completely up to you if you wanted to. I don't like them. Also, it says, look at the ads. A flood of pop-up ads or other advertising on a news site indicates you should handle the story with care. Another sign is a bunch of ads or links designed to be clicked. Examples of such suggestive or attention-grabbing headlines might include, you won't believe what this celebrity looks like now, or... Naughty Walmart shoppers who have no shame at all. <laughs> you generally do not find content like that on a real news site. So when you see stuff like that, that's an indicator that we're going to have issues. Read the article closely. The main thing I want you to take from that one, have you guys ever heard of Snopes.com? Yes. yes. No. Oh, yes. Never. Never. If you've not, that's what I have us take a look at here in a moment. Why? Is actually tab, tab over to your internet and go to Snopes.com. S-N-O-P-E-S.com. If you don't know what it is, have you heard of Mythbusters? Yeah. Yes. The TV show that yes. busts myths? Snopes is the same thing but for the internet. Anytime that there is an internet rumor that pops up that people don't know if it's true, Snopes, their whole job is to go figure out whether it's true. And they will link to actual stuff to, give you, to verify whether it is or not. Back in um, the fall, in November, there was a big news article about President Obama banning the... Uh, the national anthem at all sporting events because he was trying to separate church and state. It got people really upset because you can't ban the national anthem. They're like, how would you dare? Turns out, fake news. Snopes is one of those places you could go to and they research it and find out whether it's real or not. M? I use this to my advantage like when I'm doing dumb stuff that I do and my mom gives me a story like the reason not to do it. 
and she, I look it up on Snopes and like it's false. And Usually, I'm, yeah. Then old people are the worst for falling for fake news. They're worse than kids are. Yeah. I know. You might not believe the fact that your parents can be dumber than you, but it's true. Homework due tomorrow. <laughs>